can I be some business editor Liam Halligan? What sort of an inbox do they face? <laughs> it's pretty difficult, I must say. We've had figures out today showing that the UK economy, uh, on preliminary survey numbers, not official numbers, has contracted for the third month in a row. That's the so-called uh, PMI survey. It's like a... It, it's basically... They ask business leaders across the country how they're getting on. It's like a snapshot, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. And, and if it's below 50, that indicates contraction, and it's just gone down from 49.1 to 47.1, which is a, a pretty big dip, I must say. On the other hand, the fact that there seems to be some certainty now uh, on the Tory leadership contest, markets hate uncertainty, means that borrowing costs are falling. Over the weekend, They were the 10-year gilt yield, which is this benchmark borrowing cost we talk about that ripples out across the economy, impacts mortgage rates, personal loan rates. It's the rate at which the government borrows, which is, you know, in theory, the cheapest rate in the, in the country. That was about 4.1, almost 4.2%. Uh, over the weekend. It's now down nearer to 3.8, so a pretty big fall. So if people are looking to remortgage, and there's you know, a, lot of, a lot of stuff in the press at the moment that people can't get a new mortgage, even with a hefty deposit, a lot of these 5% mortgages, 5% deposit mortgages are being withdrawn. But the loans that do still exist, they should be slightly cheaper in the days ahead because of what's happened over the last couple of days. But, of course, we've still got the Bank of England coming in November the 3rd with their interest rate uh, announcement at the Monetary Policy Committee. We, we, and, yeah. and, and before that, mm. we would do this Halloween budget, October yeah. 31st. You know, is it going to be a frightener? Some suggestions that Jeremy Hunt, if he's still Chancellor, would have to look for another £20 billion in tax increases. Well, I think the likelihood is that Jeremy Hunt will remain right. the Chancellor. Um, not least because there seems to be no point in adding further uncertainty to that key role. If it is uh, Hunt and Sunak, I think financial markets will see that as a pretty boring, with boring being a good word. Uh, a Fiscal co competence co was the word that was being co used. Co combination. Yeah. I mean, I take slight issue, well, I take a big issue, actually, uh, with this notion that everything that Liz Truss and Quasi Quatting proposed led to the financial markets... Um, uh, yeah, and you, you big, wrote big, about this in the vol Telegraph write, in detail. I, yeah, I write yeah. about it every week because yeah. it's, it's yeah. true. <laughs> uh, for people who are, really understand financial markets, what's happening, the financial markets, what they're really concerned about is the, the cost of the energy price cap. Mm. Um, though, of course, political dogfights obviously don't, obviously don't help. So what I'd say is even... Because we've seen a bit more calm on financial markets today, the pound's been pretty steady, Mark. It may be even that they may dare to slightly push back that fiscal statement. Now, I'm not, oh, right. I'm not, I'm not saying this from any inside knowledge. I'm just surmising that if I was them and I was advising them, then it may be if the markets really are calm, yeah, yeah. then there's a lot to be said for not rushing a very, very, very important fiscal statement. As much detail as you could possibly have in that statement is, to, is going to be a good thing. So we'll see how that plays out in the next few days. Okay.